Hello, I am recording a video. Um, I'm Scott Sackett. I recorded a video of driving in downtown Oklahoma City. I just came off, this is a, a street called Oklahoma Boulevard. Um, on the right is, on the left is, is Scissortail Park and there's a convention center. On the right is the Paycom Center where the Oklahoma City Thunder play. I'm gonna turn north up Robinson Street and um, I'll roll down my window. I'm next to a semi. As soon as I uh, get past, I'll roll down the window so you can kind of hear whatever kind of noise, ambient noise there is. Um, I'm driving a Subaru and it's a stick shift, so I apologize. Okay, I'm gonna roll down the window. Hopefully you can hear me. Well, it's pretty windy. I'll roll down one window. When I get in the buildings, uh, I will uh, roll down the window. Yeah, I'm gonna turn here. Actually, this is called Thunder Drive as it goes past the uh, park, or as the uh, the, the arena. And you can see the park over there on the left. The uh, Devon Tower will, is right there. Just swung through view. It's over there on the left. Uh, if you if you ever come to Oklahoma City, you can see the Devon Tower. It's like eighty something stories, I think. You can see it pretty much anywhere in the city. Uh, that you can see downtown. It, it's, it's significantly taller than the rest of the buildings in downtown. Um, on the right is the old Myriad. Um, if you're a Mid-South wrestling fan, Mid-South used to, wrestling used to be in the Myriad. Now it's a business called Prairie Surf Graphics that does, uh, or, or I'm sorry, Prairie Surf, Prairie Surf Productions, I think. Anyway, they do movies. There's Oklahoma City is becoming kind of a hot spot for movie production. Um, and so, stop here. The Colcor building is on the uh, left. Right ahead is a building called the First National Building. We'll see if this guy, okay, he's going to stop. Oh, it's like an oh, streetcar's coming. I didn't see it, but okay, we're going to veer to the left here. The uh, library is on the left a little ways. We won't be able to see the library from where we're at. Um, I won't go past the library, but we'll go past the bombing memorial. I'll point that out when I go past. This is Main Street, obviously. On the left, or on the right, I mean, that that uh, kind of light gray building, that's a parking garage. So if you visit Oklahoma City, there's plenty of parking downtown. It's pretty, unless there's an event going on, like a Thunder game, it's pretty easy to find, your, find a place to park. Um, Today is Friday, um, so it's just your typical Friday. This building just opened, so there's kind of a commotion outside of that. On the, the, the mirrored building on the left is Leadership Square. There's like a food court in the bottom floor. The pandemic has kind of hurt its business, so, there, so there's so, but a lot of businesses are closed in the food court, but there's a couple places to eat. The bank on the right there. When I was a kid, we used to drive past here and I always wanted to work at that bank. I thought having that corner office would be pretty cool. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of people milling about. The weather's really nice. So, you know, um, we're heading up towards Dean A. McGee. building on the right it used to be the library for a long time until they built the new downtown library. Now it's a it's a um, it's a branch of, of one of the colleges here in the city. And you can see compared to a lot of cities, there's not a lot of traffic downtown. There's a little bit. Um, frequently I'll talk to people that live in some of the suburbs and they talk about how they don't like to go downtown. Um, doesn't bother me that much. Like I said, unless there's an event going on, uh, it's pretty easy to find parking. Um, now you will have to pay more than likely. There's one of our streetcars going by. The streetcars are kind of some controversy because they basically go downtown, they go to Midtown, and they go to an area called Bricktown, which is which is an area uh, east of downtown that has a lot of restaurants and stuff. So uh, it, it doesn't go, it's just a, kind of a downtown loop. A lot of people felt like it, it wasn't worth the expense of putting the streetcars in. 
I think they're kind of cool, but they are, they, it is expensive. Um, you know, but it does make, if you go downtown, kind of nice. I'm going to go, I'm going to actually end up in a, an area called Midtown where my wife works. I go to park in her parking lot. Um, so we're at Robinson at 6th now. Again, you can see a lot of people out milling about, you know. Um, I was down here a few weeks ago. Wasn't near this many people, but uh, the weather's getting better. Church on the left, college on the right, law school. Um, the name of the law school. We're headed toward 10th Street. 10th is kind of a major street um, in Oklahoma City. Again, there's parking, plenty of parking, parking on the street. Some of it free, some of it you have to pay for. It. This far up, it's generally free. Um, restaurants on the left we're coming up on the on the right there's a building that is abandoned but it sold not long ago a few years ago it had been vacant for a long time that kind of granite looking thing with the dome i thought that was a pretty cool building i for a long time i i thought man it'd be great to own that and then it sold i think i don't think it sold for very much but, but it's pretty run down um and they put a fence around it so homeless people couldn't live on the steps because that was going on for a long time. So they're doing construction here. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm getting ready to pull up to my wife's work, so I'm going to shut this off. Okay, anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, goodbye.